Welcome back, folks. The Let's Play Edna and Harvey, The Breakout. And when last we left off, we managed to retrieve the front door key from the garden gnomes, and then we tried to open the front door with it. That turned out to be a huge mistake, because the key was exceptionally fragile, and didn't survive the attempt to unlock the door. It's now broken and stuck within the lock and I get the feeling we're going to need to retrieve that, and somehow fix it, because it was heavily hinted at that it would be used to unlock doors within the house once we get in. I do have an idea on how we can get in, and it involves using information that we got from that tempo morph that happened way back at the beginning of the game. But before we go to the back of the house, we're going to go and check out the shed. Sheds tend to be a place where lots of useful things are stored, and hopefully one of those things will allow us to retrieve the key. That's the hope anyway. Let's go! The shed is doing about as well as the rest of the house is, and there's a window that we can interact with, so let's do that first. I can see a lot of tools that might be useful. That's good. Are you double glazed? Out here in the country, we don't like them there modernisms. So that's a single glazed window. I can see a lot of tools that might be useful. Use is the same as look. This has been built too well. Not a chance. We're not going to be able to take the window with us. Alas, all the puzzles that we could have solved by using a window on things will remain unsolved. Do you remember the shed, Harvey? How could I ever forget it? We used to get the supplies for our field campaigns here. Field campaigns? I'll try the door first, if you don't mind. That's fair enough. Now let's use the ballpoint pen. I can't scribble on that. You're just not trying hard enough, and trust me, I saw you make those dents in that bell. You can scribble hard enough. Maybe if I wipe it a bit. Hmm, no. Just like everything else, we can't wipe away all the grime. I wonder if I can find something to eat in there. I highly doubt it, considering it's a shed. I can't scribble on that. And we'll use this one. I can't scribble on that. To get the same reaction. Picking shears? The scissors don't cut glass. You didn't even try! Oh, Harvey. She just knows, okay? She just knows. Oh, no signature to forge here. Not surprising. Now let us use the master key. The window can't be opened. But why should it? I can use the door. If the door is open. The door is definitely open. The game is giving us the you can go in here thing. Moss, dirt, grunge, but no rust. Darn it. What about using the toenail? I'll try the door first, if you don't mind. Let us go and do that, and head inside. Oh, there are lots of things in here, and we can interact with pretty much all of them. One of them is so close to the edge of the screen, that the text describing what it is doesn't fit on the screen. Let us start from the left to the right, beginning with this spade that looks really useful. Maybe we can pick it up? Strange. Suddenly I have a craving for soup. Are you referring to the thing in the bar in the asylum? You don't want that. Do you remember how we always used to bury Alfred? Those were the days! I'm really getting the feeling that you were a massive troublemaker in your youth. All the evidence is kind of stacking up against you in that regard. There are no treasures buried in the shed. I proved that time and time again, much to the dismay of my father. I was literally about to ask if you actually checked, and then you answered that question for me. Can we take it? We can! Aha! New inventory item get! We have a spade once more. Hmm. What's wrong? Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's hear a pun about burying Harvey or something like that. Edna, don't frighten me. You are not really considering that. Edna! What? Oh. No. No, of course not. She is very deep in thought. Now let us try using the polo mallet with the spade. I'm armed in both hands. 
You are now twice as devastating as you were before. All cower and despair. I wonder if you find treasures everywhere. If you draw an X directly onto the blade of the shovel. I'm pretty sure we've heard that one before. Not bad. This way, I don't get any blisters from working in the garden. Um, ever heard of a thing called gardening gloves? Damn, they stole my idea. That they did. In fact, there are some gloves right there. Now let's use the pot here. In the mood for a drum solo? Come on, Harvey. We don't have time for this kind of silliness. But, but... And yet we have time to use all these items on items. I imagine in the actual game's timeline, we don't actually spend that long trying to get into the house. Not as long as I'm going to spend anyway. Let's scribble the barkeeper's name all over the shovel! Come on, Harvey. We really have more important things to do at the moment. Hear, O oh heavens, the saddest of tales. Of Tragedia, our heroine. Tragedia escaped from an asylum so foul, where miscreants locked her in chains. After all her struggles, after lies and deceit, she managed to unlock many a door. But it was her mind that hadn't been equally freed, and she couldn't enjoy her freedom no more. Hey! Whoa, that was quite a long interaction there. Far more than I was anticipating. Now let's use the spade with the pinking shears. Why aren't there any pinking shovels? I'm sure we've had that question before, but it's nice to hear again. Let's scribble Dr. Marcel's name all over the shovel! Come on, Harvey. We really have more important things to do at the moment. Here, oh, uh, she wear the packet to in- Hey! And we heard that again, though there was a slightly different hey there at the end. Now let's use this to see if there's a signature on the shovel that we can have for our own. The groundskeeper hasn't left a signature on the shovel. Maybe there never was a groundskeeper. Either that, or he couldn't write. I'm going with the there wasn't a groundskeeper and Mattis did all of the gardening. The Conrad Key Spade. Everyone should have one in their garden. First three callers will get a fly in the earwax completely free. Do they really want that? I somehow doubt it. Now it's like new. It is sparkling and shiny and looks no different, but we'll take your word for it. The shovel can't be disassembled. And I doubt we want to anyway. Now let us look at the snow shovel. It's even bigger. My, if we'd have handed that to the guy trying to dig out of the asylum, he'd have been super happy. Do you remember our hyper-realistic snowman? It appeared so true to life, and nobody knew our secret. Nobody besides Alfred. Yeah, but he couldn't tell anyone with the carrot in his mouth. You know, he could just remove the carrot, right? Unless you buried him so deep in snow that he couldn't. I get the feeling you did just that. Let me guess. You belong to Citizen Kane. <laughs> well, leave me alone, will ya? I get what you were referencing there. Very clever. Why? There's no snow, and I can't see one of Alfred's sandcastles anywhere. You never know when you might need a snow shovel. Why? It isn't autumn yet. It's not going to be autumn for a while, I imagine. Harvey? Do you remember the snow shovel, Harvey? Sure. It was the most important tool when we played Bulldozer. Even more important than Alfred. He wiggled too much for a proper impersonation of asphalt. I'm really getting the feeling that you were a massive troublemaker when you were younger. The game is not being subtle in this revelation. I've just had a marvelous idea. I don't even want to know. But... Oh, wow. Shut down, Harvey. To be fair, she's definitely not in the mood for shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's do some performance art. Come on, Harvey. That's pointless. What? But... Shush. And thus, Harvey was shushed. We will never know what that performance art was going to be. It was probably going to be something quite silly, though. Snow shovels aren't usually very hot. The clue is in the name. Snow shovel. Now, if it was a lava shovel, it probably would have melted. 
But you would have needed those potholders. I remember how we used to sell ice cones in winter. There were only two flavors. Vanilla and lemon. Vanilla came from the middle of the lawn, and lemon from the street in front of the fire hydrant. I get the feeling that neither of them tasted of what you said they tasted of. You probably didn't get any return customers, though. Oh yeah! Let's go! Let's do some performance art! Come on, Harvey. That's pointless. What? But... Shush. Just checking to see if that was any different to using the, uh, pen proper. Now let's try using this signature. Oh yeah! Let Come on, Harvey. What? Shush. And that's the same, too. Pinking shears? How about zigzags for the snow shovel? How about a serious suggestion for a change? Harvey doesn't do serious suggestions unless he's blatantly broadcasting the solution to a puzzle. No signature. Just a second. There is something written there. Rosebud? What the heck is that supposed to mean? I know what it's meant to mean. I see what you did there, game. We didn't get a, uh, Rosebud signature item, though, for our inventory. And that's a shame. Shall we search for hidden compartments? Later, Harvey. I get the feeling that's going to be the uh, reaction for most things that we try and use the master key on. The snow shovel doesn't get rusty. The blade is made from stainless space junk. Space junk? My favorite! The shovel can't be screwed apart. After that incident during my homemade excavation, Dad glued the joints. Maybe after ten years, the glue has weakened, though I somehow doubt it. Pshaw! Seasonal worker! Now let us move on to the rake. I was about to say to the lawnmower, but there's a rake here that we can interact with. Maybe we can take it? I often used to play in the leaves with Alfred. Most of the time, we made one big heap. Then we jumped down into it from the shed roof. Alfred never dared! I guess I'll never find out if our plan with the pointy stones would have worked. Yep, definitely a troublemaker. Well, Rake, did you miss me? Rake does not respond. Keep it cool now. I've just arrived. But we could add it to our inventory, Edna. Think of all the uses it could have. It's already mine. That it is, but it's not something that we can use here. And it never will be. Do you remember the rake, Harvey? Sure. We used to destroy Alfred's sandcastles with it. Well, at least that was the month the lawnmower was in repair. We destroyed his sandcastles with many things. And I imagine when we didn't have a rake to hand, we just stepped on them. That would make a lousy replacement. The mallet simply has more whammo. Whammo, TM. Never be without it. Now let's use the pen. Oh yeah! Let's scribble all over it and spread the ink around! No, Harvey. We are home now. We are not going to be doing any of those things here. Maybe in some different part of the house, but not here. Not bad. This way, I don't get any blisters from working in the garden. Um, ever heard of a thing called gardening gloves? Damn! They stole my idea! I was listening to that just in case there was something extra added on. There wasn't. This pot would make a good container for leaves, too. Pot Pari? I don't think so. We also wouldn't be able to put many leaves in it. Oh, yeah. Let's know, Harvey. We are home. That's the same, and we'll check with this. Oh, yeah. No, Harvey. We are home. That's the same, too. All right. Pinking she is with Rake. This is bound to be useful for something. Right? Okay, it's probably not, but it's worth a try. No chance. The scissors will lose their teeth on that. Now, there's an interaction we've heard quite a few times. Now, what about getting a signature from the rake? Oh, no signature to forge here. We'll keep searching, Edna. Don't worry. We'll find one. Maybe. Shall we search for hidden compartments? Later, Harvey. There really wouldn't be much in a hidden compartment within a rake, would there? Maybe something long and narrow. Like a treasure map. But we're not going to be finding any treasure maps today. Probably. Considering it was standing here for ten years, it's in incredibly good shape. I'm not surprised, really. I doubt the, uh, metal would have been something that could corrode. I can unscrew the rake. And thus, 
we will never take it apart and get a wooden pole. No, I already have the best tools from the shed. At least until we find the chainsaw. Is there a chainsaw in here? If so, it's very cleverly hidden away, and I get the feeling we might be grabbing one of these. Mainly that one, because that one looks a lot less like it's part of the background. But before we go and examine that, let us look at the lawn mower. My favorite game was Hunt the Frog. Yeah, Alfred really was afraid of the lawn mower. And with good reason, too. You chased him on it, didn't you? Hey, I know a certain gnome who bullies your little brother. Grr, I'll run him over. Well, you knew a certain gnome. That gnome's kind of in pieces now. Before I do the gardening, I should take care of the house first. Indeed. Hmm, no gas. Maybe there's some left in the chainsaw. You keep mentioning this chainsaw, Harvey. I get the feeling it's not actually something that exists. Look, Harvey. The old lawnmower. Yippee! Finally, we can play Hunt the Frog again. Oh, Harvey. How can we do that without Alfred? Oh, that. I'm sorry. And thus, it was never played again. Mayhem! Yippee! Behave yourself, Harvey. These are our things, not Dr. Marcel's. You heard her. Mayhem is strictly off limits when it's her property. When it's somebody else's property, mayhem ensues, but this is her ten-year-old lawnmower that has no gas, that's actually probably older than ten years old because they probably had it for quite a while before she was put in the asylum. Oh yeah, let's scribble all over it and spread the ink around. No, Harvey. We are home now. We're going to get that for both of the other pen interactions, so I'm not going to use them. Maybe if I wipe it a bit. Hmm, no. It's never going to be as new as it was before. Such is time. This pot would make a good container for leaves, too. Pot Pari? I don't think so. We've heard that one before, so let us move on to the pinking shears. Mayhem! Yippee! Behave yourself. These are out. We've heard that one, too. Any signatures? Oh, no signature to forge here. Darn it. What about the key? It's not a key that's missing here. It's gas. And we're not going to find any of that lying around, at least I hope. We don't have enough time or enough of that stuff. We need a much bigger bottle. The Super Deluxe Bottle. You get 50% free with that. The lawnmower doesn't need to be fixed. It just needs some gas. Are you sure about that? If you put some gas into that, it could very well just give up the ghost. Unless you know just by looking at it that it is otherwise working. Edna has lawnmower vision! It's a power unique to Edna. I doubt any other superhero has it. Mayhem! Yippee! Behave yourself. These are... Alright, let's move on now to the gloves. I used to catch tadpoles in these. Whoa! That was probably quite difficult. They only communicate using sign language. Makes sense. Those are only for people who don't like to get their hands dirty. And you most certainly do like getting your hands dirty. Those are only for... That's the same. Harvey? Do you remember those gloves, Harvey? Sure! We once collected slugs with them. The next day, Mattis went to trim the hedge, and ended up locking himself in the bathroom the whole day instead. You put slugs there, didn't you? I get the feeling you did. Only snobs like Dr. Marcel wear polo gloves. I see what you referenced there. Very clever. Shall we scribble on the gloves? Come on, Harvey. What for? Um, fun? You think so? Harvey would certainly find it fun. Basically, they have the same function. But I'll stick to my pot holders. At least there are no spiders living in the fingers. That, and they have an exceptionally appealing bee motif. Let's use the pot now. That's right. You'd have to boil these before using them again. And we're not going to be doing that. We're also going to be avoiding using the uh, signatures here. We won't get any different reaction. Shall we make ourselves fingerless gloves? No, 
I prefer gloveless fingers. And thus, we didn't take them. Any signatures? Oh, no signature to forge here. I'm not surprised, but I keep checking. In the vain hope that I'll find one. I'm sure there's one somewhere. No, I forged it with my own hands. That you did, and it was quite a lengthy process. No, there's no rust on the gloves. No surprise there. Toenail? Hand and foot, shoe and nail, hand and nail, shoe and foot. The components seem to go together nicely. But a grand scheme hasn't revealed itself yet. Give it time, I'm sure it will. And finally, spade with gloves. Unnecessary. I already have blisters all over my hands. That's no good. You really should get those looked at. But that will be for next time. For when we come back, there are still a few more things that we can look at. The pliers, this wheel, and a can of paint. And hopefully, we could use the pliers to get the key, or what's left of the key, from the door. And we could use the spade to, um, dig about in the front garden for another key? Who knows? Maybe there's one hidden away somewhere? Okay, I'm grasping at straws there. There's definitely a better way to get in. We just haven't got to that area yet. But we will do soon. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.